What's up everyone, Cheetah here, and today I'm bringing you an achievement walkthrough for Discolored. This game is published and developed by Godbeat Games, and you can pick it up on June 18th for a price of $9.99. And to get the full completion, we just have to finish the entire game, and that will only take you around 15 to 20 minutes following along with this video. However, without a guide, the game will probably take you around an hour or two. And before you start your game here, you want to head into the uh, settings and just make sure you have speedrun skips enabled and all of your settings are the same as mine. I'm pretty sure these are the uh, default settings, but you know, I'd rather be safe than sorry. And then from there, you can go ahead and start up a new game. And we're going to be playing in the uh, free roam game mode, so make sure you choose free roam. All right, so starting off here, we're gonna head forward out of the uh, elevator and we're gonna take a left turn and we're gonna press A and interact with this item on the desk here. So interact with this and then you can use your uh, cursor, I believe it's the right stick, and you can select the uh, item using the A button. And then once you have the item, you can back out by uh, placing your cursor on the left or right side of the screen and pressing A. And then from there, we can head into the uh, back room back here and we can pick up this uh, suitcase right here to the left. And then we can press X to open up our inventory, select the uh, suitcase, and then use your cursor, press A to uh, open it up, and then pick up this uh, little viewer thing right here in the middle. And then you can back out, and we can go ahead and open up the uh, door in front of us here using the uh, little doorknob. So head through here, and then press X to open up your inventory, and then press A on the uh, little card thing, and combine that with the uh, viewer by pressing A on it. And then from there, press A on the viewer, and then press X to close your inventory, and then use the viewer on this uh, little picture right here. And now we're going to be done with this area. And I believe you should also unlock and achieve it. All right. And starting off here, we're going to turn to the left. And we're going to head to the left side of the diner over here. And there's going to be a bucket that we can pick up in the back left corner. So head back here. You can also sprint by pressing in the left stick, pick up the bucket, and then turn to the left. And we're going to fall off the uh, ledge right here. And this is actually going to teleport us and unlock an achievement. And then from there, you can turn to the right and head over to the uh, right side over here. And we can press X to pull up our inventory and select the uh, water bucket and combine that with the uh, hook right here. And then spin the crank and you can press Y to uh, skip the cutscene. And then uh, you'll have to spin the crank again. And then pick up the uh, bucket as well as the uh, little hook. And then we can head into the uh, diner. Open up the door and take a uh, right and interact with this little machine here. And then pick up the ticket. And then we can turn to the right and head through the uh, door over here on the back left corner. And head upstairs. And then once you're up here, head straight forward to the uh, little flower pot at the end of the room here. Pull up your inventory, select the uh, water bucket, and water this uh, flower here. And then uh, that's going to open up a little compartment with a picture. Pick up that picture and then head back downstairs to the uh, cash register down here. And then uh, once you're here, go ahead and press X to pull up your inventory and combine the uh, little viewer with that picture that we just picked up. And then combine the uh, viewer with the cash register in front of you. And that's going to open up and you can pick up the little green prism. And then we can head back upstairs to the uh, little flower pot and we can place the green prism right here. And then directly in front of you, you can pick up this green pole and then turn to your left and look at the uh, ceiling and you should see a little attic here. Pull up your inventory and select the uh, hook and combine that with the green pole and then use that green pole on the attic here to open it up. And then turn to your right and pick up the uh, green prism out of the flower. And then you can head up the uh, little ladder here to the attic. And if you want to, you can skip the cutscene by pressing Y. So head up here, turn to the left next to the uh, bed, open up this little door. And then we can head back downstairs and we can replace the green prism. So head down here, place the green prism, and then head back up the uh, stairs. And again, anytime you do like an animation, you can skip it by pressing Y. So... Head up here, pick up this green crank on the right side on this little box right there. Turn to your left into the uh, door that we just opened up and pick up that record. And then turn to your right, interact with this uh, little crane here on the desk. And then from there, you want to rotate it using the top option. And then you want to lower it using the middle option. And then you want to uh, squeeze it tight using the bottom option. And then pull it back up using the middle option. And then rotate it using the top option and then lower it using the middle option and then let go using the bottom option 
and then you can pick up that little moon using your cursor and the A button obviously and now we can head downstairs and exit the uh, diner Head out to the uh, diner, take a left back over here to the uh, well. And on the left side of the well, you can uh, use the green crank here. And uh, go ahead and spin that, skip the uh, cutscene, and pick up the blue prism. And now we can head back upstairs to the attic. And then once you're up here, go ahead and place the uh, blue prism inside of the door that we opened up earlier. And then from there, there's going to be a little blue doorknob that'll appear on this door. Go ahead and pick that up and then head down the uh, stairs here and turn to your right into, into the bedroom. And over here on the right side of the bed, inside of the nightstand, there's going to be a book. Go ahead and open up that drawer and pick up the book and then head back out of the uh, room and take a close left. And you should see a door over here with no knob. Go ahead and open up your inventory and place the uh, doorknob there and open up the door. And then uh, open up this little suitcase on the left side and place the green record. And then go ahead and press the uh, little play button there. And then uh, turn to your right, pick up this little white bar stool. And then uh, if you wait a little bit, the little record's going to play. And it's going to open up a little secret compartment. And we can pick up the red prism as well as some seeds. And then from there, we can head outside of the uh, diner and take a right. So take a right, head over here, and you should see a little pile of sand. You want to interact with that and then uh, pull up your inventory and select the uh, seeds. And then close your inventory and use your cursor and place the seeds right there. And then pick up that little item. And then from there, you can go ahead and back out. And now we can head back into the uh, diner and we're going to take a right turn. And you should see over here, there's going to be a bar stool missing in front of the uh, little bar. Go ahead and pull up your inventory, select the bar stool, and place it right there. And then interact with it to open up a little secret hatch. Head down here, you can skip the cutscene by pressing Y. Pick up this wood next to the uh, little desk there, and then open up this furnace twice, and then place the uh, wood inside, and then go ahead and close the uh, furnace, and make sure you lock it. And then from there, you can place the red prism right there. And then pull up your inventory and select the uh, blue book, and uh, we're gonna open it up. And we're going to press the left side triangle a total of four times until your little uh, hand is right there. And then you can press the uh, right side a total of seven times and that should open it up. And then you can pick up the uh, key and we can uh, exit out of this. And then pull up your inventory, select the key to open up this uh, red door right here. And then head through and make sure you switch the uh, red switch and the green switch. And then turn around and pick up the red prism from the furnace. And then we can head back upstairs, or up the ladder. <laughs> and once you're up here, head outside and across the street over here to the uh, payphone. Open it up, and then pick up the uh, phone. And then uh, open up your inventory and select the moon and place that in the uh, payphone as if it was a coin. And then from there, we're going to uh, dial a phone number. So we're going to dial 1-2-2-7-7-7. Three, three, four, and then the uh, raindrops, and I'll also have that code on screen for you. And then from there, after you dial that phone number, we can head over to the right side of the diner, over here, and we can go ahead and pick up this uh, picture right here. And then we can head into the uh, diner and head upstairs into the uh, bedroom. So head into the bedroom over here and interact with the uh, TV. Open your inventory and select the uh, picture that we just picked up. Close your inventory and use that on the uh, TV. And then from there, use the interact with the uh, dial on the top right. And then you can back out and head into the basement. Once you're done here, go ahead and place the red prism inside of the furnace. And then turn around and interact with the uh, little cart here and pick up the paintbrush. And then use the paintbrush to uh, paint a picture on this uh, little painting here. And then from there, you can go ahead and pick up the red prism. And then head upstairs, pick up the green prism. And then head up into the attic and pick up the blue prism.
And once you have all three prisms, you can head back down into the basement. And once you're done here, you can interact with the uh, painting and pick up this uh, little picture here. And then head back upstairs and we're going to exit the uh, diner. And we're going to turn to the right and head over here and we're going to climb this uh, tower here. And you can skip the uh, climbing cutscene by pressing Y if you want to. But once you're up here, look at the uh, ceiling and pick up that dial. And then open up the door and we're going to place all three of the uh, colored prisms right here on this little pillar. It doesn't matter the uh, order that you place them in, so just go ahead and place all three. And then uh, once you've placed all three, you can go ahead and exit the uh, tower and head over to the phone booth. So head over here to the uh, phone booth and we're going to stand in this little white triangle right here. And uh, you should see it glowing on the bottom right. And then from there, pull up your inventory, select the uh, viewer, and use it on the moon right there out in the distance. Apologies, I did that kind of fast. But once you do that, you're going to get an achievement. And then from there, turn to your left and uh, pull up your inventory, combine the viewer with the uh, picture there, and then use the uh, viewer on this tower right here. And uh, you're going to have a little cutscene. You can skip it if you want to. But uh, once you're done with that, you can go ahead and climb back up into the uh, tower. And once you're up here, you need to pull up your inventory and select the suitcase. And you should see a uh, little glowing red button on the left corner of the suitcase. Press that. That'll open up a secret compartment and you can pick up this little card here. And then you can back out and combine that card with your viewer. And then look through this uh, little picture frame right in front of you. Alright, and next up, turn to your right, interact with this uh, board here, and press the white triangle. And then from there, you can go ahead and back out, and turn around towards the uh, door, and you should see a little envelope on the ground. Go ahead and pick that up, pull up your inventory, and look at the uh, envelope, and then pick up the little card right there. And then from there, you can back out and uh, interact with this little red radio, and place the dial from your inventory right on the uh, little circular part and go ahead and spin that one time and then from there you can back out and turn to your right and uh, pull up your inventory combine the viewer with the uh, little card that we just picked up and then use the viewer on this uh, picture here and that's actually going to be the end of the game but we're still uh, missing one more little secret easter egg achievement so after the uh, credits are over I believe you can skip them using Y go ahead and start up a new game in uh, free roam again and for this uh, secret achievement, it's actually time related. So once you gain control of your character, head over here to this uh, little TV and you have to AFK for about two to three minutes. I'm going to edit it out just for the uh, sake of the video. But once you stand around for about two to three minutes, you're going to see the TV is going to change and it's going to have this little timer and it's going to start counting down from uh, 60 to uh, zero. So while it's doing that, you want to head into the uh, elevator over here and look at this uh, little red panel. And once the uh, TV hits zero seconds, you're only going to have a few seconds to do this. So once the TV hits zero seconds, you're going to see this little panel is going to open up and there's going to be a crowbar just like that. So go ahead and spam A like crazy and just be ready for the, uh, the countdown to end and pick up that crowbar. If you miss it, you'll have to uh, start up a new game. So again, look at the red panel, wait for the uh, timer to run down and pick it up. And then uh, take the crowbar over here, open up this little compartment using the uh, crowbar and pick up that item and just like that that's your uh, last achievement so that's it thank you guys for watching leave a like on the video if it was helpful and please consider subscribing if you haven't already and i will see you guys next time